Morning YouTubers, this is my new uh, solar setup. Um, I'm running two kilowatts of panels at um, 48 volts. 48 volts, and each panel is 200 watt panel plus the two on the end are 250 watt panel. Set up in here. I've got a um, an MPP solar charge controller uh, inverter and also a battery charger all in one. A very good unit. Very, I, I re highly recommend anybody to buy these. Um, very, very good. Unit. As you can see, I'm uh, I'm drawing 1.3 kilowatts off the panels. Um, so that's not too bad. There are, as I said, 2.1 kilowatts of panels. At the moment I'm drawing 1.3 kilowatts. It's 9.30 in the morning now. So it uh, sure is getting up there. As you can see, you can adjust your parameters here. You must set your battery type to user otherwise if you don't set it to user it will not allow you to change any of the charging uh, parameters. I've got mine charging at 57.5 uh, volts and floating at 55.5 uh, solar I've got my charging uh, priority at solar first output is battery um, AC input range ups I don't know whether I should have that probably changed to appliances. Um, I have to dig in deep and find out more about that. Um, but that's what it's there. You come over to this side. You've got all uh, you can your output frequency, which is 50 hertz, which is Australian. Uh, back to grid voltage is 49 volts. Maximum charging is 60 amps. Uh, this is a 30 amp charger built into it, battery charger that's set at 30 amps. Um, I've got uh, back to discharge voltage at 40, at uh, sorry, at 54 volts. Um, you come down to here, and the cutoff battery cutoff voltage is 48 volts. That's that's 50 percent. So if my batteries get that low, it will then cut over to power uh, to the utility that's coming in as well so you can sort of play around and, and adjust where you want to adjust it to um, at the moment I've got uh, it says I've got 24 amps coming in off the panels it's charging at 19 amps the battery capacity as I said is wrong it's 72 yeah, percent that's wrong um, I don't know why but even Justin says that he doesn't like them either, he thinks they should be taken completely out of the system. As I said, if you have a look at the meter now, it's shown, it's shown about 22 amps. 22 amps are coming in. Um, I have seen it go to 33 amps. Um, but if I'm drawing 22, 20 amps, come over here, and off the panels I'm drawing 1.3, 1.36 kilowatts off the panels. So yeah, um, so yeah, um, I hope you like my video and um, any comments, much appreciated. Thanks, bye. Yeah, I just want to quickly add to this. I've got it now up to um, up to total um, bulk charging. The battery volts are now on 50, uh, 57.4 volts. Um, and down here, it's telling me that my battery capacity is 92%. Um, so it fluctuates um, as soon as the sun goes in I mean I'm producing eight, uh, 16 amps off the batteries uh, 12 amps is going into the bat uh, oh, sorry I'm producing 16 amps off of the panels I've got 13 amps going into the batteries 
the remainder is running the um, all the items that I'm, I'm using at the moment so say three amps of coming off the panels are running everything that I'm running upstairs at the moment uh, that fluctuates when the fridge kicks in freezer kicks in or someone turns the water pump on or something like that then uh, of course that goes up but it's it's just yeah I'm just looking at the battery capacity it went from 70% when the, the sun went in uh, for a minute and that dropped right down to 50% and as soon as the sun came back out again it shot straight up to 92 100% then went back down to 92% um, so I really don't think this battery capacity software that's built into this is, is working right um, I really don't think that's yeah I think that needs to be looked at um, but that's the only fault I can really find with it um, other than that it's just purring along beautifully um, looking at the voltage uh, 57.5 volts that's that, that's fully charged in my point of view um, so yeah I just thought I just want to show you how it fluctuates unfortunately the Sun hasn't gone behind the clouds yet so I can't show you how far that drops but as soon as the Sun goes off the panels the, the, it just drops back down to 50% and that's not right so um, yeah I thought a bit of interesting a um, bit of inf might be useless information but um, yeah I just thought I'd share it with you thanks set this up in the um, shed and I'm running out some um, uh, 240 volt AC cables uh, extension leads heavy duty extension leads this is a 4,000 watt, 8,000 watt surge. Um, I got this particular model off of eBay. Uh, there is a gentleman out there called Justin Case. He does all the um, the uh, work testing of these things, and um, you can just put his name in, Google it, and it comes up in YouTube. Um, highly recommend you download his uh, videos and um, have a look at his because uh, he was the one that got me started on this one I saw a video of his and I thought this this looks pretty good um, just all the normal cutoff switches I've got a battery 48 volt battery cutoff switch uh, I did have a 24 volt cutoff battery cutoff switch in there but it just didn't like the uh, voltage uh, so I upped it to one of these um, so I can cut my battery off completely to isolate the uh, the whole lot, the inverter, everything that's coming in. Um, go up to uh, my battery cutoff, uh, my solar panel cutoff switch. Um, so I can isolate the panels anytime, which is going through a 60 amp fuse. So because the maximum though this this uh, uh, 48 volt the inverter. Uh, uh, with an MPPT charge controller built into it it'll only take up to 60 amps um, so I've got a 60 amp fuse I'm not running 60 amps at the moment I need another thousand watt panels uh, to, to, to be about maximum of 3000 watts this will take 3000 I think they say 3200 watts of panels at 48 volts The other day I got this one up to well, 2 kilowatts of power coming in off the panels. So again I bought all these panels outside off of eBay um, and um, you don't need to go and buy your um, very expensive ones. Um, if I'm getting, if I'm rated out there at 2.1 kilowatts of panels and I was drawing in 2 kilowatts the other day the efficiency is pretty well spot on in my point of view um, I'm no expert but I have 620 amp hour battery capacity at 48 volts I've got room here to put another four which will give me 800 amp hours at 48 volts it's a pretty good by setting the parameter at uh, solar first um, it comes off the solar panels first or your drawer comes off the solar panels um, so 
during the day, uh, once the battery is totally full, um, I'm just running off of panels. Whatever I'm running up there, I'm running fridge, freezer. Um, as I said, I've got them all, all running off of here. Freezer, battery charger, electric fence, hot water. Um, my hot water runs off, my hot water is gas, but I have two controllers which are run by um, power. So I've just ran out of electricity cord to run that. It's like running a 60 watt globe. I also have a, a 12 volt system in the house as well. Um, mainly just to run my lights in the house and to run um, all my 12 volt gear. Um, this is just so I, uh, so I don't have to fool around. I wanted a split system. So I put a split system in and I run... Um, all my lights throughout the house on 12 volts um, so that's that so my batteries down there in a case just 300 amp hours and that's enough to last me three days taking it down to 50 percent three days running all my lights in my house at 12 volts I also uh, run our washing machine off of that inverter outside there. Um, brand new washing machine. Um, I found if you put hot water on, your hot water controllers on uh, at 60 degrees, uh, this thing will run off of an 800 watt inverter. Um, but if you do not have, if you let this internally heat the water, it jumps up from around about 400 watts to about 2,100 watts with the heater on. So I'm using on a on a normal wash, I'm using around two 300 watts total per wash. So that's pretty good. Um, so that's what I do. I run our washing machine off of there. I um, run my computer off of solar, just a desktop. Um, does draw a lot of current, um, but um, yeah, that that runs perfectly on solar. Um, that's no drama. My subwoofer down there. Over here, I have my stereo system. Um, I run my media player, which is over there. A Blu-ray. I have down there. I have another um, DVD player. Down there I have a valve amp that I made myself which um, draws about 200 watts and then underneath there I've got a 5.1 surround stereo system which I run all off solar. Um, I have a car stereo system which is a DVD player as well which I have running as well off of my 12 volt side. Um, just that if I don't want to boot up or I want to listen to some music or stuff like that and not booting up the big stuff I just switch that on and listen to that um, so we run we run the TV as I said we run the fish tank little fish tank over there um, you come over to the kitchen the fridge we run the fridge off of solar um, the stove is gas the microwave runs off of solar um, and the toaster you can run off of solar as well so yeah I uh, thought I'd just give you an update and of my new solar system that I've built um, hope you enjoy thank you Bye.